Hello everyone, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler and we're going to get right at it with the Dallas game and while we were doing this we came across even uh, what made this touchdown to 20 yard touchdown to Dontavian Wicks yes. even more impressive yeah. after we looked at it a, a second and third time. Yes. So um, what's going on here? Why don't you go ahead what, and, and The thing us. about it, look at the wide nines of the, the, the ends. I mean, in the tackles. So now uh, Love is saying to himself, before he do the protection, before this play, what are these guys doing? I mean, is this a, a casino blitz that's just going to bring everybody? You know what? I think it is. So we're going to change it. I got to get Tucker back in here, Crafty. I got to get him back in here. Mm -hmm. And then you got to make a call to where everybody understands. Even Taylor's like, okay, you want me to stay in too? Right. Yes. Cause we got we got the look that we want, and then after he sets the protection time to boot, you got to give eleven to say come on and come in motion. That would really confuse his defenses. I've told you all the time, anytime you move a guy anywhere, motion shifts, it confuses the defense. And sometimes, sometimes you can confuse yourself too, cause he's like, okay now, uh, what are we doing here? And maybe. You know, when you get back, because this is the shortest path to the quarterback, mm -hmm. okay? So that's got to be secure. And Jordan had to say, if it is casino, okay, you're going to have a free runner. Yeah. And I got to get this ball off. And I think yeah. what um, he essentially did was, um, so going into this, um, Tom, before this call, mm -hmm. may have had to take him. Yep. Maybe. Um, but he brings Tucker Craft here. So, okay, he can do there, and then Tom can focus on this guy, right? Yes. And then Sean Ryan is here in case this guy blitzes. Yep. You know, Myers is here, or Myers is here, and, you know, anyway, he's protected against yes. a lot of guys coming. But as we'll see, it didn't work out perfect. Okay. Yeah, because once this, okay, now... He was right. You're right. right. Here's the yeah. motion. Right. Here's the motion. And now, now look at these guys. These guys are tucked in, right? But that motion brings them in to switch. You know, so now the outside guy has to become cover the inside receiver in theory. So if they don't talk about switching it or whatever, that's where we're going to try to attack. Right. But again, you got to make sure that these guys are on the same page. Because now you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys to block. To block. Yep. And sometimes they can bring just enough guys to just get one one on one. And here's Parsons out here in that wide nine. Yeah. Again, Jordan is thinking. Fine, everything is great, but it still may be a free rusher. So I gotta get the look that I want and get it off before he hits me. Is one of the reasons they bring him inside so that um, he's got to come? They're gonna switch off, right? This guy's now gonna become Jay yes, Reed's yes, responsibility. Yes. So does this allow him to get inside leverage because this guy has to come all the way over? Is his job to force Wicks outside? Well, or is his job to stay over the top? Like they're going to, since it's a casino blitz, mm -hmm. they got to be inside. That motion threatens that because now you got two guys with a short split mm -hmm. that can get inside. And uh, the one thing you could think about is as Reed comes through, he's such a smart guy. He comes here and he's also going to be wide open, but he has to clear. He has to clear so you, Wicks can have this whole area to work with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, he's, if he runs a route and he's up here, now that takes too long, mm -hmm. and that rush is coming. But what he does is he'll come up, he'll clear to give Wicks enough room to hit him and hit that post. And, and Wicks' job is to get inside of this guy, right? Yes. Not let him yes. get over to here exactly. so that he cuts off yeah. the middle for him. Because he no time is clicking. I mean, it's, it's, it's coming fast, so he got to clear that motion. Okay. So once that motion is clear, once Reed is, everything is working. Now, 
I'm not sure what happened here. <laughs> I don't know. You should never right. be looking that yeah. direction. Right? Yeah, anytime you're looking at your quarterback, it's not good. But this guy, the Dallas guy, you know, is also turned around. So that what makes me think they ran some kind of a game. I think yeah. so. I think 90 was right here, 50 was right here, 75 yeah. was right here. And yeah. I think Tom just took him. Just took him down. Yeah, just washed him down. And Ryan needed to not come down on him and just stay right here. Yes, they can just pass it off. Yeah, and then, because yeah. you've got one, two, three, four, five, six rushers, and yeah. you pointed out there's seven guys. And this guy, you know, this is his man. He could be coming, too. You yeah. never, never know. Right. Because he's covering nothing. Yeah. I would do that. If a guy blocked, the tight end blocked Reggie, I would check, check, and I'm going, I can get a sack. So... You know, what we see here is that even though he called the perfect protection, Sometimes. it doesn't always work out, yes, right? Yes, that's Someone. why you got to have an elite passer yep. with technique and the understanding and the arm strength. Yes. Because he's going to get hit. And you showed yeah, he, yeah. he pump fakes here. Yes. You know, he does a like this, and that yep. slows this guy down. Because right? that guy wants to leave his feet. You never leave your feet. You run straight through with your hands up. Right. If you leave your feet, then you're at the mercy. But see, and still, you still got to deliver a throw yep. that's at that, what we call the price point. Now, see how perfect Reed route is? Right. He came all the way over there to clear. He's also open. Yeah. But if he was here, it'd be all these guys here, it, it wouldn't work. Yep. But he cleared it which is amazing. And Wicks was able to stay inside of yes. this corner. And this one of the top corners now, 21 for Dallas is a, you know, all pro corner. So that was, a, it's, just, it's just a great play call yeah. that Matt LaFleur just said, wow, hey, look at the eyes here. You're so good. You don't need to look at the ball, yeah. man. If that was me, I would have dropped it. <laughs> but He did bobble it, this, but he ain't. I mean, this it. is one of the top corners in the league. So, I mean, it's just amazing that Wicks is size, speed, yeah. hands, Feet. everything you want. Man, he and this guy was a late-round pick. Okay. Uh, I goofed this one up, so we'll come back to this. Okay, so now we're okay, going now. to defense. Yes. This is what you really want. Okay, yeah. so what we got is short third down, and mm -hmm. the Packers pretty much – know where this ball is going to go. You don't see it over here, but C.D. Lamb is running. This is Brandon yes. Cooks. Yes. Okay. So yeah. Savage is there, and it looks like mm -hmm. he's covering him, right? Yeah, and the thing about it, Dak, is, you know, is, like, is it a blitz? You know, is it a blitz? Oh, it's just a five-man pressure. I got plenty of guys. I can go through my protection. But here's where having a number one receiver can hurt you, Tom. Mm -hmm. The ball shot obviously go here right right but he's so locked on to cd lamb who's coming in right here and 26 knows that too through his film study so the ball should go here look at this space yeah but he's so locked on because remember early in the game they have some discussions about throw me the ball i'm open yep. or whatever they were yep. saying and because he got yeah pretty good protection good protection Just stay there and and he's got a guy who's about the Make it. Run free. But sometimes your mistake can cause the team because you're so locked on. Go through your progression. You remember Jordan Love, five interceptions, trying to squeeze it into Watson, mm -hmm. you know, trying to force it. Now, who's ever open? Get, getting the ball. And that's the reason why he's the best quarterback to the last, you know, eight games. See, look at that. That's where he thought the ball was going to go. Great read by 26. And again, Let's go all the way back. Remember at Minnesota, <coughs> Kirk Cousins threw a pass right to Savage. He dropped it. Mm -hmm. So this whole time, he's been thinking, I got to get an opportunity to make a bid. This was such a big play because he let you know that if you're going to try to force the ball to your number one guy, it can, it can hurt the team. Right. And, or you could double clutch it and throw it back to Cooks, but he didn't. It was 20 to nothing it. at the time, too. Yes. And there's two minutes left in the, in the yes. half. So, and another reason why this was big because you missed the field goal to go up twenty one nothing. Yeah, twenty to nothing. Extra point. Yeah. I mean, extra point. You know, twenty to nothing. Teams score three times, then they can go ahead. But 
this play puts it, I say, Mom and Dad, I'm coming home. Yeah. That's amazing. To the house. Yes. I think we have, oh, I thought we had one more luck, um, but we don't. Um, it was, yeah, it was really a. Um, yeah, I looked at uh, 59 and said, We're going for one. Yeah. Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> don't need to go for two. Okay. So, and another one, and it, again, any movement. Yeah, they love that motion. Any movement. It, it confuses these guys. Look, this guy's he's about to take off. He may not have gotten a call. The safety is not even ready to rotate. And look at the short split. Yeah. See, they don't know if these guys who come who does a great job of run blocking. They don't know if these guys are run blocking. They don't know if it's a play action. They don't know anything. They just know this guy right here is on fire. So coaches are just at a brilliant play calling because now they had the Dallas defense guessing. Yeah. And that's when you had got them. Yeah, I, I'm a little confused. This is a linebacker. Why he's coming out, I guess that would indicate it's probably a zone because, or is it, man, he wouldn't be on Jaden Reed. Well, man, the corner man. blast stayed here, so it's some kind of zone. Okay. So when he get but look how deep the corner is. The corner is, what, 15 yards deep? Yeah. And this guy is, he's locked in on, oh, this is a run play. These, they already got their mind made up. This is a run play. Okay. So, and, but see, you go all the way back and you look at Joy Love, who is by far one of the best at his ball handling. Even on the <coughs> runs, um, on the runs, he carries his fake out. Mm -hmm. For safety, that puts a lot of pressure on safety because we don't know if he has it or not and what's going on. And we just need you to take that one step. A guy's already on top of you. And that's the reason why these plays are so wide open. Yeah. Okay. Now, you see, you look at this. Now, when Reed comes over time, he is – the reason why I love this guy, he never loafs, man, whether he gets it or not. You remember uh, last week when he kept running that cover two mm -hmm. and Love hit him and he just kept – against Chicago, he just kept going. You never know. He wasn't supposed to get the ball. But when you hustle, good things happen. Right, right. It, it, this would have been the opposite side. He, and yep. he caught the ball here, and then he came all the way through there. So, yep. yeah, yeah, you're right. Yep. Now, Bo Melt is like, hey, listen, I don't know if I'll get it or not. Right. But he has to clear so Dobbs can get this open. He has to clear. Both of these guys got to get out of there. Because, again, you got to rush. You don't know what kind of rush is going on now. But now you got to. A guy, Michael Parsons, who beats 50. Badly. And we'll get back to that. Yes, because we'll that was some... key in this particular play. Yeah, and and Dobbs is occupying this guy to some degree, right? Threatening yeah. him to come yes. deep. And then he's threatening deep. And so this is just a big clear out play, right? Yeah, this is, they're man to man. If it's man to man, oh, you can run your, oh, you can. Hit him with that corner out there. It should be wide open because these guys are going to be gone. I, but this guy, he don't know. He's just taking off sprint. I don't understand how I, you can have two guys there doing I don't get nothing. That. I, I just, just, because they have no work. You know, you got to tight it up the blocking, one guy off. They're just a wasted guy because you could push the safety over to cover the seven. Sure. And he can go to the middle. But they Maybe he was supposed to. I don't know. Yeah. But, um, Based on this, I don't think so. Now you're thinking, okay, you see, the guy on melt, that's 4 3, by the way. Yeah. And you got 11, who's been on fire. I yeah. mean, the guy's had some big games, and that opens it up for Romano. He catches it and turns it up. That's a big play, man. He's Huge a big play. plays off of great protection. It's someone you want to talk about with Aaron Jones. But if you don't get the protection, these plays don't work. But if you run it, you don't need an all-pro receiver to just to run what the coaches are putting in yeah. to get the best stuff. This is some good stuff. And There it is right there. This, so, okay, this first shows Zach Tom is yeah. overreaching on. Yeah, his feet are too off, wide. Yeah. Feet are too wide. And look how off balance yeah. he is. He's, he's yes. lunging at Because Parsons. normally Parsons was a speed rusher, but this time he's he went inside. I, I'm telling yeah. you, if you go back and watch mm -hmm. um, the tape, you can say, eh, Michael Parsons didn't have a very good game. Mm -hmm. He had, Tucker Craft had the worst possible day he could blocking him. I mean, he just couldn't block him. But, you know, Elton Jenkins had to do that tackle of him. Oh, you yeah, know? yeah. He beat Zach Tom here. 
I think that's even more impressive that he was beating blocks, but they still managed to um, yeah. complete plays and have a big offensive day. So they had a plan for him. You know? Yes, they did. It didn't Jordan always Love work, but Jordan amazing. Love made it work. Yep. And, and Aaron Jones. Here's man. 33 right there. I mean, that's why I said this is the straw to stir the drink, but this is the flavor. Yeah. Aaron Jones does the dirty work, and the people really don't normally see. But that just that block helps Jordan say, "Oh, I got plenty of time to deliver a great throw for a long developing route." Yes, by, it by takes Romeo a long time. Dobbs it takes a long time to come across. But yeah. what I like here, yeah. look at it, right in his ribs. Yes, I mean, and, <laughs> and then look at him afterwards. Yeah, that's a great point. I like that point you made because if you go low, it's a penalty. Yeah, you know, because if he's blocking the mind, you go low. It's a penalty. You got to stay up high. One of their best players. And I had a photo, so, but I forgot to put it in here. But he's yeah. after he takes the hit, he's bent over, and you see, yes, you know, love yes, completing yes, the pass. Yes, I like, saw that. Yep. They played yep. a very physical, physical football game. All right. Well, that should should do it. We have some yep. others that we can look at, but I'll be here all day. So, well, that was a good, good game. <laughs> I think this gives you a pretty good idea of what went happened. Yes. And we'll see how they can apply that to San Francisco, and we'll analyze it when we get back next yep. week. Yep. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah. yeah, I want to thank Pick and Save, of course. You can actually get my uh, award-winning vodka everywhere. It's an alcohol and every Pick and Save, a metro market. Of course, download Leap 36 Podcast, please. And again, if you're looking anywhere in the south um, Milwaukee area, please visit Torzala Brewery. Okay, and we'll see you next week after the 49ers. Go Pack.